Welcome to the No Buffer Podcast. Oh <laughs> How we feeling? How we feeling? Hello, world. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy Lingo Steve. I got the immensely beautiful uh, Shine oh, XO. Man. It's the only time I've been able to give you an Ooh, introduction. That's, when it's pressure, that's what that pressure feel like. Yeah. Ooh, it just got hot all of a sudden. <laughs> Lord. I mean, we, 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 we can go somewhere. <laughs> we, we can get off air real quick. <laughs> Man, this is what happened tonight. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the compliment. I am Cheyenne XO. Um, and tonight, um, our good old co-host, last name Good, cannot be here with us right at this moment. But um, he is here with us in spirit and in this bottle of wine I understand. He has some more, more pressing business to handle of tonight. Of course. He had a bag I mean? to go get, you know. No yeah. buffer bag. Yeah, you know. Mm, a little culture ratchet bag. Yeah. Ah. You know, something like. <laughs> but um, y'all welcome to the No Buffer Podcast. So how was your weekend? We can get into it. Man, that shit was... It was cool. I had, I had to recap for a second. It was what it them? No, like, it, well, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. It was cool. Like, I drove for the most part, but um, shout out to the homie Tona. Um, he had a baby shower. Um this weekend it was actually it was really dope like you've been at a lot of baby showers you're getting a fever nah i'm good oh. um <laughs> it was actually really cool though like they they was very luxurious it was like it was one of those baby showers like they had the chair and all the table placements and everything like it was it was really cool oh, okay respect, yeah. and respect. If, I'm, if i'm not mistaken i believe she's nigerian so it was mad exquisite like you know, you know how they get down. Food galore, drinks galore, popping champagne bottles, throwing it on there. Like it was, it was an that event. That sounded like a real party. Yeah, it was. I want no shower. You Man. No shower, you go play your little baby nah. games. You know what I mean? It Who can a, change was, the diaper the fastest nah, and shit? It was a neat. Who can suck the beer out the <laughs> nipple tight shit? I've been to a. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I've been to a couple myself. You nah, know what I mean? Was a, it was a legit, like, event and, like, party. They it start, was cool. They starting to make uh, baby showers kind of unisex these days. So, Which you know, I like. It be a whole party. Like I like that. Because a lot of the times baby showers, like, men never want to go. They feel like it's going to be too girly. But. I mean, I, that, that's what, that, that was what it was. Like, I had to ask, I asked my daddy the first time I watched it. So what, go down at the baby shower? I ain't never been to one. Like, yeah. That's, you know, some man shit. Like, he never been to it's one. Like, that, that ain't for us. Now. Like, it's actually cool. Like, even when... Um, when good to his pampers and partners, like I thought that was really dope. Like that was a really dope. Like just the concept alone is like good a creator, man. Yeah, that was real. I don't want. I don't want to steal his idea when my time come. But it was. Facts. It was. A, it was a dope. I'm look. stealing it for sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a credit for it. Yeah. He'll get the little check. I think he got a little copyright on it. You can't do that one. No, he'll get the check for it. <laughs> but shit, yeah. So like, you know, baby shower these days. You know, you got the. Good food, good mm-hmm. liquor, you know what I'm saying? We celebrating the baby. Like, that's a good time. Like, yeah, it was dope. You know, I don't have to feel bad about it no more. You no, know you what don't. I mean? Yeah. You don't been to a couple of baby showers before uh, H? Yeah. Well, he not even. Got oh, my God. <laughs> this nigga. That's the only one? What you do, bro? What you drunk, Hennessy instead of Duce? <laughs> 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 Okay, Shad. <laughs> <laughs> he, he he fucked around and went to the Jameson, did he? I know what's going Thanks. on. I know He's what's like, let going me see on. what type of time Cheyenne be on. Oh, <laughs> nah, I actually went to Good Joint and um, it said guys only, and I came with my significant other. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. So Shia. that was that last time. that last that fuck. Fucked everything up because everybody was looking at me. Like, they was looking at you crazy. Like, like who's the lady? Like, who the fuck? Like, who the fuck? <laughs> you can't read, nigga. <laughs> who's the lady? That's questionable, still. Yeah, so that's, but yeah, that's the only one I really went to. Other than that, it's like you said, it's a party. Yeah. It's like, it's cool. I didn't even know it was a baby. And he's just say, yo, come with me real quick. And we, I mean, oh, uh, shit. Yeah. Okay, okay. I was going to say, even that good is like, we play beer pong and shit. Yeah, my sister draws kind of lit too, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, it was, it was pretty lit. I had it catered and all that, you know what I mean? It was straight. I had a great, a dandy old time. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a dandy old time. How old is your sister? 
She's uh, so I'm twenty eight. She's twenty five. Oh, word! Why she ain't never come through? Trying to hide her. Trying to hide my sister. I mean, I want to see what she working right, with. Right, you just. We got niggas, bro, she niggas, just had a baby. He, 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 he inquired too hard at it. Like, nah, 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 we got, we got, we got some, fa- we got some peoples over here. You know, big bow over here. First of all, I'm not auctioning bro. my sister off. Mm. <laughs> That's mm. first and foremost. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, if you hop down, you just hop down. Like they grown, but I'm not auctioning my sister. Oh. Like. Not bringing up for those. You're not. You just bringing her through this. So you know. So, you know what? I so, see so the fellas wanna, in here see what she working with. I see. What, I see she want to come one day. She kind of attached to the baby right now. You know oh, what okay, I'm saying? Okay. You know, baby on the three months old. So you know, she doing her motherly duties. She still with the baby father. It's none of your business. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just asking. I'm about sick of this day. He almost caught a one just there. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> hey, so I just wanna go on record and say that whoever took my purse yesterday, your mother's a hoe. Well, how about let's get into that? <laughs> a purse? Where at? Where? <laughs> hey, look, I'm, I'm just putting this before she get this story. Cheyenne is sweet, dog. <laughs> I'm talking about green leaf. Like, she's sweet out here, dog. What you mean? You got I robbed in your own shit. Yeah, that shit like, was wild. Riding, the, only, like, the only reason why I get I didn't give it a lot of credit is because I do keep it's a small little satchel. So I keep it in between my driver door and the seat of my car. So I know when I open the door sometimes it'll fall out. True. I do know that. That is a disclaimer that I do I, stuff that like I, that too. I gave myself the benefit of that like you be maybe high all the time though. Hmm? You heard me. You said what? You be but high all the time. Hilarious. No. You can't even hear you from way up there. No. Geeked all the time. This is, <laughs> no. So no. I was just no. like, you know, let me let me give that the benefit of the doubt of like maybe I opened the door and it fell out. So let the people know what happened. Long story short, um, I was driving. I was driving when I should not have been. I, I called you for that particular reason. You gave me the, the advice as well to not drive at night. I do what I can. <laughs> Long she, story short. You call Steve? Yeah, because I know he wow. does overnight. So uh, I wanted to see. You know what, what this sounds like? What the hell you mean? Wow, though. Because, yeah, you, like, no, you know what this sounds like when she's telling a story? This is like AA, and she's about to go have her drink, and she calls her sponsor first. Yo, you are to, a to, 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 to I, The way you correlated that was beyond me, brother. <laughs> I don't even know how you got there. Right. But, <laughs> but I ain't going to lie. The conversation we just had, though. Yeah, okay, it's relax. like he's Why are you, right We ain't got to bring it up. All right. All right. Well, we I've been a trying time okay, in my life. Okay. 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 okay I understand. <laughs> Confidential. Yes. <laughs> got you. So anyway, long story short, I called him because I know he usually does the overnight. And I was just like, hey, you know, let me see what's the best option for me. And he was like, I wouldn't advise that. Cool. I was like, you know what? You're right. I wouldn't advise these. I'd probably drive to like 12 and then just get up in the morning and do five hours call a day. For one, she's a female. And secondly, apparently she's sweet. Well, well when you say that, what do you mean? You trying I, to say I'm green now. No, oh, you said, right. Okay. My bad. Well, hey, we from different areas, God. I don't know if that's and time what period. that means. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is this the podcast where you shit on me? On you? Yeah, no, 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 no. I think love. this is payback. No, from we like, on, no, we on is, different. We on different time. This is payback from last time when I showed Steve. I mean, when I showed Good the score. I mean, is this that? I party? really forgot about that. This has hilarious. But since we this digging, this has to be that type of time. We digging now. Nah, how I shit on you just now? I'm just saying it's cool. I was, I was shit on him. <laughs> <laughs> Call me. Sort of. <laughs> anyway, long story short, my my purse came up missing. During after my ride, and oh, but you gotta call a spade a spade though. That was some sweet shit though. But I didn't. I ain't even. It was, and I ain't even realized until like a solid twenty minutes afterward. And there's nobody you can call. That's the thing about the the Lyft the and Lyft, Uber yeah. shit. Like, like you, you can't always call like directly. on some automated or some yeah, like, like you gotta messaging send an email or type text. shit. It's you don't know like, who the fuck you talking to. Hell no. One, and, one and minute I'm what, talking to Karen. I ain't never even heard a voice, dog. Aaron. Like the only time I ever heard a voice is when I go up to the fucking Lyft hub. Yo, you know, know what's crazy? You know where the hub is? It's right. off of Bellman House. When, um, no, when, when, oh, no, you Trump, gotta go to the hub. When Trump and all them be like, yo, we need, we bringing jobs back, those are the type of jobs they can give regular people. Because when I'm on customer service too, I like to fuck with them and but, be like, I want to know where they at first. You like of all. to fuck with them. You know, be like, where, where are you? Because you one of them? 
the shit I'm going <laughs> through, I know you ain't been through. You're reading some shit off a computer. But that's just, but that's just, but that's just stuck business to the cubicle. Period. No, no. Uh, that's customer service. Not period. really. If you fuck with somebody in America, they experience the same shit you probably. They still don't give a fuck. They reading. I mean, just, it depends on what we call too. it. It depends on it depends on what we. I mean, they all read off the screen, but then oh, you, you know no, sometimes when you're conversating, you could get them out of it, yeah. and then we are they, they they turn that shit off, and we talking real like. It, like when the bill collectors, I used to be like, "Yo, you answer them calls." Yeah, the, I mean, sometimes you, they, you get caught. You that's, a different and type you, of Listen, business. that's how I know you up. Exactly. You answer the bill, bill collectors. collectors nah, it can no, be. you answer the bill collectors, bro. You I see a one eight hundred number, no, no, bro. It's they going all, straight see, to see, voicemail. They all ain't all one one eight hundred. Ain't They'll nobody be, called you from their cell phone, dog. For it'll say being out. No, of ain't no bill collector called you from their cell phone. Wait, 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 wait. Uh. If I'm in Atlanta right now, a phone call will say it'll say 404. So I'm thinking it's uh, all them bitches say 1 800. Nah, you, nah, what is nah wrong? you're bugging. bugging. How many bills you, you got? Oh, yeah, like, nigga. You're I bugging. don't answer nobody you're calling that's not saved in my phone. Nah, nah, you can't see it, but. That happened today. What I do, I can't do that. Other than the one eight hundred number. Oh shit! What I, I four four nah. calls all the time. What I do, I can't but y'all, do that. Okay, it's another thing. All right, say they do call you from a regular number, right? You stay on the phone? Didn't I just say I like to fuck with them? So I'd be like, yo, you it's see what I, I you I see this shit? Kind of you see this what they owe me? And I'd be like, yo, would you pay this? And they'd be like, sir, they try to, you know. Talk they shit and we get into it. Then they be like, "Yeah, you right." And then it ends up with they be like, Yo, "After I you say right. who you looking for and where you from." <laughs> the moment they mispronounce my name, I look, they, hey, I, they be like, "Hey, can I chime in on that real quick?" Because ahead, let me tell you, let me give y'all a cheat code. Can, because can you, sometimes it's better to just go ahead and use the people from overseas, like T Mobile for instance. T Mobile people, if you have an issue with T Mobile. Do it between 2 a.m. and 7 a.m. Because mm-hmm. that's the time when them people overseas, they give you every deal. They, they, they reversing bills. They turning phones back on. They erasing all kind of overdraft oh, charges. Professional. You call in the morning. Um, Keisha, Keisha and them. Yep, exact. For Keisha sure. and them. Every well, question. Like, I don't know what to do. I can't do that. Can't oh, do you want to know what's so funny? Everyone. And I, I meant to bring this up one one podcast. So I had I was calling them because I think my bill is extremely too high just for it just being me What's on the phone line. Who you got? T-Mobile. Oh, real quick. Oh, what you However, got? real quick. What's your bill? Shit. If you Every ever want to get out of a bill on T-Mobile, go to Twitter. 50? Go to Twitter. Go to Twitter. DM go T-Mobile help. Mm-hmm. I've had T-Mobile oh, help do so much shit for me right. while I was on the phone that's with customer service. That's in a hot spot. Oh, that, that's 150. Yeah, you but not who, so you with, who you with, Mecca? What you say? Who you with? T- that's what I'm telling that's you. Yeah, T-Mobile. Oh, and I'm not going to lie. DM T-Mobile. T-Mobile help on Twitter. DM them and I bet you they watch everything. The only reason who you why with, bro? What's your bill be? Oh, oh. Hey, this is bougie. Ooh, you this got bougie. sugar mama. You don't pay your shit. You yeah, sugar mama. Introduce us, bro. Like, what's up? Yeah. You got, she got what's sisters up, and cousins. Up, that's why you sitting over there cooling. Her. She, she got a sugar auntie. Now you, now you know why we was asking about Steve's sister. <laughs> bro, <laughs> Steve about to fight one you. More, one more coming by my <laughs> sister. It's going I'm off. I'm gonna you, dog. I swear. Like, it's I swear. going off camera. I swear. With like I'm gonna you. But I swear. No, I give up everything right now. I'm gonna dot you. Like. <laughs> Dang, Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt you, dog. Like I'm telling you, I'm still on you so nasty, bro. So nasty, but bro. You know what's why I meant to bring this up a while ago? You can always tell when and I got love for ratchet bitches. I love ratchet people. But you can always tell when they got their first like customer service job because every other word be ma'am. All right. And I apologize for the inconvenience. You hey, be like, fam, sorry. Speak I don't mean I don't mean to switch subject, but You did. I, <laughs> it got something related re, related to this. Mm-hmm. Why young females don't like to be called ma'am? Cause they not old. Uh, ma'am, ma'am is not for old people, dog. It's, it's a sign of respect. It's not. No, ma'am is old. It's a sign of respect. No, 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 but when, when somebody calls me sir, I'm like I feel like I'm respected, dog. Like, I think it's, it's a thing of like growing up, like uh, my elders. Thirty five and up is ma'ams. Nah, no, my dog. elders were always. You disagree, like, bro? You feel you feel that way? Bro, also, yeah, that's, that's false. false. That's false. That's false. I, I don't take I, 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 I'm going on what he said. Right. I, I saw him say what's up to some women and he didn't say ma'am. Uh, 
I that don't mean he has you. to call them ma'am. When, when you met, when you met the other ladies that came in, man. he was like, "Oh yeah, I know Shorty, I know blah blah blah. She I get it, damn, no that 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 that." Nah, I know. <laughs> yeah, he, he no. wild. <laughs> <laughs> he put on your shit. Added other shit. No, okay. I feel like it's made. Well, for me, growing up, it was a respect thing. Like, I, my elders would be like, "Yes, ma'am." Like, other than that, I've never called nobody else, man. But when I hear, I don't get offended. But I do joke around like, "Hey, don't call me that." But it don't bother me. Oh, he's, when he when, 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 when he said me. what's up to you, he called you, ma'am. Excuse me. When he said what's up to you, when you, I don't even when remember. you just met him, when Honestly, you just said what's remember. up to him, I don't remember. Did he call you, man? Did he call you, man? I don't remember. I was standing right I know, here. You he ain't call you, man. He ain't call you, man. Folks. Yeah, I don't remember. It doesn't bother me though, but I I do take it as a sign of respect when people say yes, man. Honestly, it makes me feel a little empowered. Like I, I could tell you, I could tell you to pull your pants up. <laughs> Honestly, I, hear, I I don't say it all the time. I ain't gonna lie to you, but I do say it on occasion. You know what I'm saying? It, de- it determines like, the, like, the yes, situa- it's the situation. I'm like, yes, ma'am. You know what I mean? Don't call me, ma'am. It don't right. bother me though. It, nah, cause ma'am Fuck is some old you. shit. Yeah, ma'am nah. is some old shit. Nah, that shit come. Nah, that nah, shit. Nah, shit. but I feel like mentally, women don't respect themselves enough for them to be called ma'am. Mm. Talk to him, King. You feel what I'm Talk saying? Like shit. that's cause that's a that's a that's a term in my eyes is a term for respect. Like right. you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not saying in a joking way or no shit, like I'm saying like it's a term of respect. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't call me ma'am and you know, got real attitudes. Yeah, like ma'am is old. What's up with you? Like, I ain't gonna lie, I remember that's specifically some old shit. one night in like middle school. Back when, like, you had to call somebody and they parent pick up the phone, you had to be like, Hey, can I talk to such and such? And I asked politely, and then she was just like, Yeah, I'm look-. she was looking for the man part. You know? Oh, yeah, like, nah, yeah, nah, listen, I don't go like that. I ain't, That's some know? southern shit, yo. yeah. I feel it that too. It I feel some that too, shit. but don't 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 come at my top for being for having manners. When you go yeah, to, yeah, my thing yo, was wait, I wasn't saying rude, I didn't say, go, Yeah, I, put such when, and such when, on the when phone. you go to uh, JJ's. And you be like, yo, yeah, blah, 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 can I have whatever, whatever, ma'am? You gonna think I'm cap, but I have said it at JJ's. You gonna, think I'm, you gonna think I'm cap. You gonna think I'm cap. I have said okay. it at JJ's. Okay. JJ's. What, ma'am? Okay. Yeah, like she was like. Oh, that means she must have been an older lady. No, she okay. was my age, bro. Nah, she nah, and she nah. was like, she called my order back. So you want the such and such, such and such? Yes, ma'am. You see how you just said it? Uh, you wild. Huh? Yeah, you see how Mecca you just said it. So what you mean demanded? Demand like I ain't saying like I no, mean, like I'm, he I'm didn't, giving she all didn't people respect. Yeah. I don't give a damn if you the the uh, you are, garbage man. guy or the or the goddamn CEO or whatever. Like, like I'm, and I was say that's another thing. Like I like, definitely treat people who fuck with my food. Hell Oh, for Extra sure. polite. Like, like you getting all kinds I might of even, customer service. I might even change up my voice. You oh, know I will. <laughs> In a heartbeat. I'm saying, can you feel I what just, I'm, I'm so sorry. Can I please just have like an um, extra? Part of me, can Yo, I have uh, a two piece I'm with fries? I'm so sorry. I'm not even trying to be difficult. I apologize. I really do Some apologize. of that really don't even matter though when we do all that because they got a bad day. The boss is on their nerves. Actually, it does they because no, they're not getting that all day. They're not getting that all day. They're not getting that all day. True. They're not getting that all day. So you be that one customer to, to, to just be on, fucking bro. polite and nice and yep. they feel like it's, it's happened to me before i be in like a real shitty ass mood and somebody go like how was your day and i'm like oh it was good and I'm like oh well thank you for picking me like those little gestures like mean a lot and it don't mean like you it don't it's just like damn like all right he give a fuck so cool you might think i'm count but i'm definitely i have definitely said that it okay i've yeah. been with you a few times i ain't never heard you've man. never been with me yeah. you've mouth. never been in, with me inside of jj's Yo. Hey, yo, if, if she ain't got no grades, he ain't saying no man. Ah! Okay? <laughs> that nigga like, what up, bitch? What up, fat? What up, bitch? all this lies. other shit? Man. These are all lies. <laughs> These are all lies. <laughs> hey, you never been with me inside of JJ. Huh? You never been with me inside of JJ. I mean, Speaking hey. of grades, do you have grades? I don't. Why you say that? I'm just asking. No, you asking for a reason. Like, yeah. Oh, no, because <laughs> no, no, right. you said I got not, grades. No, I That's said, I oh, shit, my bad. What'd she say? She said she I got grades. grades. I mean, God bless. I like four of them. That's good luck for you. Good I'd be luck. Hyped too. It's good Every luck. Every time Newman come in, I'd be like, "Oh yes, bitch, kill him." 
Oh shit. Yo, but <laughs> let's bring it back to the the car shit. I just wanted to ask a question. Mm-hmm. So you know the person, the last person that so was the last in the person drink in my car name was Jamie. Don't know the last name. Last name, I mean the name. They don't is have Jamie. last days on the yeah, on they the shit. The they don't have, unless but, they they could decide to put it. But his name was Jamie. Um, I'm not gonna disclose what he lives. Nah, right. You don't have to do it like. But my point is, there's a way you we can you can yeah, pinpoint and I'm, I'm, you can pinpoint where they over at. there by Gwinnett Medical Center, which is the hospital that I went to. I, oh, you I know you dropped them off and all that. Yes. Oh, so you know where to get that nigga. I did my detective. You know where to get that nigga. But I was like, I gotta I gotta know where my shit is. So I went back. Zoomed in on the map because it doesn't tell you exactly where you drop the person off when you mm-hmm. drop them off after you finish the ride. So I was already out Jimmy Jimmy Carter. It took me about twenty five minutes. Damn, that's a get, long ride already. Yeah, it took me about twenty five minutes to get we back gonna, up. We to gonna where get was this at. nigga. And I had to like remember landmarks to where I was at and like find the spot. I remember the gate code to where I was at, pulled up at the gate code spot. Didn't see it then. Pulled up to where he was, where I picked him up at. Didn't see it then because I didn't open So my what door. you trying to do? Like, I grabbed a smoke wagon. We can go there. Like, what you trying to do? I mean, it's no problem. I just need my house keys. Oh, you with it? Fam, I just need my house keys. All right. Right. Um, right. Yeah, wildin'. We, we we just saw the whole Takashi shit. We shouldn't even, you shouldn't even say nothing like that, God. Say what I want. <laughs> Do it right. all. Right. It's all good. It's all good. But um, but yeah. Long story short, like that shit happened to me yesterday. Yo, so. that mean that might mean you need to get the Takashi package in the whip where the cameras is everywhere, and not the Takashi package. package. Yeah. That's what I'm calling now. Yeah, that's what we gonna get in. That's but yeah, that happened get. to me, and it has my house keys in there. I would, if it had my debit card and my license in there, I'd probably be like really upset. Oh, oh, so you good? Didn't. Oh, only I have the my key. wallet, but I don't have my got keys ID. to my so house. You got a key. So how you get in? I didn't get so in anywhere. I went to my best friend's house. Yeah, That's why on, we have friends. You, know, you, can let, you know this is your home. So you, 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 need a, you need somewhere to stay and lay up in the couch or whatever. Oh, thank you. I appreciate the gesture. Yeah, that's crazy. Appreciate it. That is but, crazy. But, yeah. So she probably got a bed at her best friend's house. What you think? Hilarious. Huh, Larry yeah. is. No. What? Well, I, I might have a guest room. Yeah, but. These, these shits lay out, God. What you talking about, God? Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> I done spit it out of this motherfucker before. <laughs> oh, you know what type of time? Yeah. <laughs> but um, but yeah, that happened to me yesterday. So yeah, where your, be, your, your, your best friend live at? Bro, it's yeah. none of your business, dog. Right. I mean, she she ain't gotta say address. She can be like, yo, and whatever, whatever. Yeah, Dang stalker. You, that's all. Bruh, no, all right. we, we, we letting the, the viewers know. I know you know. be on some perv shit. That's what Hilarious. I What? You don't want to check my bag. You don't want to check my bag. Internet browser. He got on the Wrangler rapist jeans. You don't want to check my bag. Internet browser. Internet browser. Internet browser. I'm telling you. Keezy movies for the pop up. Hilarious. X and X. Sorry. Oh, you owed it. <laughs> right, cause I don't even right. I couldn't even tell Hello. your website. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so Becca, have you ever said the word ma'am? Like have you ever called somebody ma'am? Not necessarily, but, but preferably though. I mean, answer. Like, I feel like that's some southern shit. When I be when I'm up north, was like, mad long shit like, to Mike. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you call somebody ma'am or sir or something like I'm trying to. I don't. No, I don't believe that. Like but I was about if you was gonna say no, well, I'll give you an example, because you know, I I manage a call center in my regular time. Okay. One thing we tell people are callers, because they do um theatrical and symbolic art, so you might be calling somebody from Atlanta, but you talking to um let's say they're uh, studio studio theater in DC. Right. What they tell you immediately is you call somebody in DC and say, Hi, hey ma'am, um, this is such and such calling from they'll know automatically. You from the south? Yeah. They know automatically. I don't know. It's it's a, it's a cultural thing too. I feel that. If he was gonna say no, I was about to say y'all niggas from up north. That's yeah. Where you from, bro? You from New Orleans? Yeah. Okay, respect. Oh, what part? What part are you from? What part? You say Dave Ward. Okay, I got people from down there. Huff people from down there too. Mm-hmm. I got I got hilarious. Nah, but I'm no, saying, he woke up they with got baby. they got they got a real. He wake, he wake up with baby. He don't they, wake up with man. They, they got a real more. They they a little more southern than we is in terms of like like uh, manners no, and shit. No man. You know what I'm saying? Like my people from like uh, I got some people like this in Dumain and uh and the West Bank and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like that's my my. my but my right, baby. They, they but they a little more southern. Yes, indeed. I, they 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 whole lifestyle. They whole is a little bit shit more, is different. They do. What's the word I'm looking for? Different. 
it's way more culture. Exquisite. Right exquisite. Huh? Exquisite. Let's be honest, exquisite. Cause hey, listen. It's very unique. Don't take. I, oh, oh go no, ahead. go ahead. No, go go off. Don't take this as no offense. The city stinks, but that's my favorite city. Facts. That's my favorite. It stinks. Like it stinks. Like that's my favorite city, though. Like that's my favorite city, dog. Bro, as soon as you step off out the car, and dog, smell you like smelling it. Ass, like, ass the car, the plane, it's whatever, terrible. you smelling it. It's in the I, air, dog. But I say this ain't like the the top. If I could ever move out of out of Atlanta, I would only go to DC or New Orleans. I can't say New Orleans because their school system is ass. I'm not having Wait, kids. Wait, you say so if good. you could ever move, you can move. No, no, I'm, if the opportunity leads itself to that, like I'm just ain't, not stepping then, out there. The right construction now. worker ain't he in Florida oh, somewhere? Oh, should we back to this? Bro, no, 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 no. how we get we here? We ain't mentioned dog in about four months. Like, <laughs> oh, he ain't been here around. about two of the oh, four. Oh, oh, so here, shit. We go, here we go. <laughs> just, just to fuck around. Just to fuck around. But no, if I was to I'm ever go anywhere, it would be DC or New Orleans. Cause they those school system ass. I want. No I'm not again. raising no kids. Raise my children. I'm not raising kids. New York. What's wrong with New York? But. It's not that I don't. I've, I've that never, is, that's no like hands yeah, down my favorite. York. City, I've never. Though. I've. I, I like New York. Um, it's it's not enough green for me. That's the southern part of me that I would miss. Nah, you could go Bil- to Queens. It's too many buildings. Bro, niggas not Queens. trying to go to the park to see some grass. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, like, no, no. Bro, I'm not from niggas the Niggas is not Central trying to park go to Central Park to, park to go like, see some grass. No. grass. Like, no, no, no. no. Nah. You, you, could, you could go <laughs> live in Queens. <laughs> Facts. Like, I'm not doing that. But no, I mean, New York is cool. It's, it's not my speed. I feel like that's pretty stank, too. It's, it's not, not my culture. Speed. It's not my culture, either. It's not a lot of black. It's not For me, it's not culture enough in black people in New York, like outside of Harlem, it's just not a real black type of ordeal. It's everybody. Yeah, it's nothing wrong with that. But and then y'all rude as hell. I'm y'all subway stuff. Bro, hella rude. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, you know. bro, I'm not trying to cuss nobody out in the beginning of my it's day. It's certain shit that had me like, yeah, tweaking just because like you ain't, like you know like, what I'm saying. But a lot of people from here. A lot of people who are here now are not, not from, from here. here. So you gotta. You, you know gotta, what I'm saying? Yeah, see, like, you can meet 20 people outside right now. They wouldn't be friends. Facts. Like, yeah, real talk. I'm talking about also, like, because it used to drive lift and, lift and shit. Like, nigga be like, where you from? Like, I'm from here. Where you from? Like, nobody ever said Atlanta. Here. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? Nobody, like. And honestly, it's a lot of people that's from D.C. and Cali that are here. That in their culture is completely in different. New York. What are you talking about? Y'all too, but we. I'm I'm talking about recently. I feel like New York. Y'all been in the momentum of moving here for the last like twenty years. Bro, keep nah, it that's true. That's true. Because if it wasn't keep for the Bronx, true. this rap shit wouldn't be from. going on. Huh? Virginia Beat. Keep it chill. Everybody here except for me and Cheyenne, not from here. Facts. But you gonna hit you from yeah. you from New Orleans. If you it wasn't from the Bronx, this rap Seattle, shit wouldn't be going man, on. Right from Boston, like ain't nobody from here. Yeah. Yo, if it wasn't for the Bronx, this rap shit wouldn't be going on. That's cool. On. But it's <laughs> but but we in a different type of time that's where cool. that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> we in a different type of time where I just I just I just, not, I just feel like that was it's just a sign yeah. of respect though. That's all I got to say about that's it. Like, true. I, I respect. I, I you know I you know I try to treat my queens right. Like you know what I mean like. It ain't gonna fit me. I mean, it might pop up one day. Like I might, and nah, I it'll be on some petty shit so right is, now. So is it? <laughs> it'll be on some because so we mentioned so it type answer shit. This, like. So is it? Is it the same for men when y'all turn thirty and women turn thirty, or is no, it's thirty like the age where y'all feel like y'all, y'all should about together? About thirty-seven. Like, thirty-seven. So we're talking about like outside of the side of respect, like. I, I know a big thing for people when they're approaching thirty. I know we're coming up on thirty. Is that like a big thing? I always, I always appreciate the word sir. It's better than being called boy or some shit like Very that. You true. feel what I'm saying? Like, so how do you feel about turning thirty? Are you like, do you have that like fear of gotta get your life together? You turning thirty? Hell no. Nah. The okay. nigga told me uh, when I was twelve, them twenties for you. He said what? Those twenties are for you. Yeah. You know what sure. I'm saying? So when I get 30, I think about it then, but I okay. ain't really like press like Say less. midnight crisis shit. Like, you know what I'm <laughs> There's saying? Women, women it's, be on that. By, by it's, 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 time, it's just time to like really buckle down at right. 30. You know what I'm saying? Right. But other than that, nah, I ain't pressed. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it hit you. 
it's it, 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 it's it's all you good. You think about bro. having a kid? Like yo, I'm about to be a certain age. I need to have a kid soon. You think about that? Oh um, shit, no. So. I'm just like, saying. I'm just saying. You know, I'm with you. I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm I'm hit you with this one. I'm gonna hit you with this one. The only time I really think about it, cause I realize I see the decline in my parents. You see what I'm saying? Like they getting older, you feel what I'm saying? I want them to be able to enjoy my kids, you feel what I'm saying? So But what are, oh, so do you want kids though? Yeah, yeah, eventually, but No, nah, ain't no eventually. I ain't, I'm How not rushing the shit, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro, them yeah. kids them kids slow some shit down, dog. Right, you gotta have right. a whole nother di- right. a different yeah, type not, of dedication with some kids coming around. And like if you me, want some grades, you go get some kids. Too. Yo, you, you wild. Grades. You don't have to have grades for that. Um That's when they come is what I'm saying. No, but it's not. My I have whole, kids and I got kids. My, my whole thing, I see, I see my my people. They kind of like declining getting a little older, bit. They yeah. getting older. Like my dad is sixty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want him to be seventy and I just having a kid. You know what I'm saying? I want him to be able to throw the ball around and show him how to shoot a little bit. You without know what I'm saying? Having like, to sit down. huh? What's that? Without having to sit down. You feel me? Like he already he already sneaking up. The arthritis already sneaking up on his yeah. ass. So you know, yo, what I'm saying? you don't ever tell him, yo, he need to get some of that medicine. It's not about that. I mean, they're um, just naturally getting off. I tell my parents that. They be talking about their pains. I be like, yo, you need it's time so to get some medicine. My my pop's kind of headstrong. So once he feel like something was like yeah, not I good know. for him, you not he's he not budging. Yeah. Like he don't bend oh, like at all or break. Wow. Like you know what I'm saying? Wow. Once he are, what you talking about? Learning a lot here. What you talking about? Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, I mean, she's knowing how you are, nigga. But oh, go ahead. God bless. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, once he got in mind, set on some shit like he's not like he's not bending for you, like you know what I'm saying, like. But we talk about. Health. I was having, I was having, I was having a conversation. You know, uh, Al Harrington. I thought you fucked with the basketball. You don't know Al Harrington. He just said it just to say. He's fucking Indiana. Come okay, on, there you go, on, there you go. God. So Come he's on, he's God. he's fucking with the weed shit now. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I was telling him about a story about how he. Is he down here? Al Harrington. Yeah. He might be. You know I how niggas do. Hey yo, this is like your you, third time with a long-winded topic. You know how, you know how, I don't, you know how niggas with money be. They always copping some land in Atlanta. You know what I mean? Like Thanks. our shit fairly cheap right now. Fairly. So anywho, Ooh, mm, never mind. <laughs> continue on, King. Um, Al Harrington was explaining how he got his grandma to smoke weed, and you know she's like, "Oh right, I heard that." And story, she's one of them holier than you know down uh-huh, type yeah. people. And she had like glaucoma or whatever, and so uh, he was trying to tell her even when he was out there in Denver before the shit became legal. And she was like, "Grandma, just try some weed." You know what I mean? Nah, I can't do that, baby. Like, I can't do that. Yada yada yada. So finally, she just broke down. That pain. She was like, she was like "I pain. can't even read my Bible." Like, you know what she was oh, on? like? She, I it can't took even, over. I can't even read my Bible. You know what I'm saying? So she 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 uh smoked some for like a month straight. Mm, how she feel? And she was able to read a Bible. <laughs> God talking to her through the, through her herbal essence. Craig, what's going on, man? But Chabelle Cruz. This, this is when he come in that he, he brings up the ma'am concept because when he talks, he be saying ma'am and all that type of you stuff. You say ma'am? Yeah. Thank you, bro. It's a that's southern thing. That's all we try to do. It's, it's not, hey, bro. It's yes, it manners, is. Bro. It's, it's manners, just, No, it's a really southern like, thing. It's manners, bro. It like, is a southern I, thing. It really... Bro. It really uh, burns my bacon when a young female when, say, when, I ain't old enough to be not, old. Not. The first time How I old? Ever somebody uh, say uh, burns my what's bacon. The old, what's the age range? Is it 35 and up, you say, ma'am? Or if you in McDonald's and the, the shorty behind the counter, is you saying, ma'am? Yeah. Thank you. You're bro. like, why, Thank you, bro. why does it make a difference on whether he says it or not? Thank you, bro. Like, like, like what I feel are you like talking you, about? Mecca said the same thing. Like, why they don't deserve that same respect? Yeah. You that type like, of nigga. You know what I'm saying, you bro? I don't belittle people because they yeah, work in that yeah, McDonald's. Like, no, 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 I'm not belittling them because they work in that McDonald's. I'm not either. Hold on. Okay, so do you? Would you not call me sir? Like if I was, no, if no. I was giving you, you a sir, like, like if I was, yo, this thing is so crazy. Oh my god. What's good, brother? Man, you know, yo, just, just, just don't say nothing else. See, that's that's why they don't think y'all nice up there in the north. They rude as shit. That's what I said, bro. That's what said, y'all that's niggas right. is we different, that that's and that's why I would never, I would never move to New York. That's what I'm I would saying. never move to New York. Y'all, 
Um, um talking about uh, the medicine. He he brought it up. He said you ain't try to introduce your pops to the medicine. Yeah, I was like, because we was talking about for for a quick recap, we was talking about babies and whatnot. And I was like, he was like, do you think oh, about it? And I was like, I sort of do because I see the decline in my parents. You know what I mean? They get older. Did you so. miss that part? It's all yeah. good. Okay. So, uh, all right. so I'm, I'm going to leave it alone. Then. All right. So um, <laughs> <laughs> next on the docket. <laughs> what you think about what you think about the babies? Shit. You know, the, 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 the older I get, the more I thoroughly enjoy being by myself. I ain't going to say all that. And um, I don't know. Just to see the state of the world, it makes me. It makes me wonder if I'm being selfish if I wanted to have kids. And y'all got a, y'all got a, like a little time frame on y'all ass too. I understand right? that. I feel that. I'm not. Yeah. I'm, and I'm not saying that. But not, not, not with the new technology. Hey man, relax. That, we that talking co- about natural birth right now. Oh we, okay. Because because Cheyenne she gonna have her shit in the pool. Hilarious. You wanna deal with that pain? You ain't gonna have your shit in the tub. No, you wanna deal with that pain? Like a little I, natural. I don't have it natural. I'm not having that shit in no tub. Not a tub, tub. I know, I know you know. what you're talking. I know exactly what you're talking about the oh, water birth shit. Oh, like, you, you do not watch these things. Like, I do. Just because She'll I'm never not. Be able to yeah, I'm not. Tub again. No, oh, I'm good. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Hey, like, real quick. So when we hit thirty, what you trying to do? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Check my account. <laughs> Check my account. God bless. <laughs> See what these finances looking like. Yo, God being bless. that it's Tuesday, yo, can we we can we do a power recap? She ain't watched it, I ain't bro. Watch Come it. on. And I put First, you on. Oh, wait, wait, before you even that? start, I didn't watch it because they don't have seasons one through three. They only get the last. Oh, man. Season. Come on, God. Oh, so now we're so talking we're about five. the side effects of this YouTube TV. Uh-oh. Yeah, bro. Because you know, let's let's get into it. Yeah, you was up? real gun hard about this YouTube TV. Ah, 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 shit. And all you knew, like, ah, ah, ah. Like, nah, it's really not that, my oh, guy. Oh, damn. You better off what, getting what, the What TV show we talking about? Snowfall, right? Can you watch Snowfall on there? I can only watch the last Snowfall season. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No. No. Thank you, Ty, because she's the only real nigga in here right now. Oh, I'm, I'm God sorry. damn. I don't, I don't know the rest of y'all. You just, you just going to take my credentials? Oh, oh yeah. Right. Time out. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> time out. Time you out. You just going to dismiss my time credentials? Out. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm saying. You got a friend in the building. You want to go out. Wait, wait. Bro, so, so, can I get the rest of my sentence? Go ahead. She's the only real nigga right here that got my back with the, with the backup shit. But I you already know you, but you solid. Like, Why would you even question your loyalty to me? Why would you question your position in my life? Mm, you already know it. Mm, mm. What is your problem? Loyalty, huh? I'm yeah. being checked right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it sounded like you didn't include anybody, but but <laughs> her. Thank yeah. you, Craig. Thank you, Craig. Because I, I, I initiated the okay. whole. But for it's my, some bullshit. we're speaking about this right now. In any other circumstance, who's there? And yeah, we're gonna talk about this later. All right, cool. Say less. Crazy. Anywho, but yeah. Yeah, like I was saying, yo, yo, YouTube TV is questionable, mm, brother, mm, mm. sir. I agree though. It's questionable, mm. sir. And you it's, talking about? It's, it's very who, limited. Who's gonna spend all you got, this you money got, on all you these? Got, you got a plethora of shit on there, but it's it's, it's, it's very what's, limited. What's the limit? What's the limit? What you want to see that you can't see? Like the fact that I can't put up Grey's Anatomy, but season sixteen episodes twenty one through twenty five. No, no, like, what got, are we talking like, about? That many seasons in the first place. Yeah, thank you. That thank don't you. matter if you're gonna tell me something is unlimited and I can pay this much money every month to watch an unlimited series. Why do I have to pick which? Why are y'all giving me a limited amount of series and episodes at one time? This ain't Netflix. It's supposed so, to be TV, no, so you watch me. now. You say you miss something, you can Listen, watch the it sense now. You trying to make out of this because like you go Xfinity yeah, on the band. I feel you, but <laughs> you go not, Xfinity on the band exactly. to get all the seasons. Exactly. Wait, wait. You said what? You can go on Xfinity on demand and get all the seasons. And like, I have to watch commercials and all that. No, you don't. What's Xfinity. 30 seconds compared HBO to? HBO and shit. No, you don't. Uh, that's HBO. We talking about power. No, nope. You said Grey's and Oh, Power's on. Yeah. No, 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 no. I was talking about Power. No, no, no. I was talking about no, Stars. No, no, no. I was talking no, about no commercials. She said Grey's and Natalie. I was, I, was, I, was, I was only saying that specifically. But there's you other. You still on the Grey's and Natalie? No, no, no. I'm saying. She just brought Even Power. I can't watch. No, this show's right here. I can't go back to Stars. No, no, no. Stars ain't on there. I still can't. I still can't go Stars. back to season one no, of no. Snowfall. It's only on season three. Mm. Oh, I was just naming an example of some shit that I like, but the oh. shit you want me to watch, nah, I still nah, can't watch it. The, the YouTube TV is uh-huh. about being current, as in if I'm watching something and so I miss it, I can me. watch it. Mm-hmm. 
So what you're telling me is you gave me that password to watch something correct that I'm not. No, no, no. Something after you, you was just belittling me wait, for wait. not watching for months, the, for months. Well, but because you supposed to be episode. on it all that time, so and we you, ain't been up here years. Hmm? You heard me? He already lying. Wait, Who's the man is this? I can't you, trust you. Wait, you wait, been wait. up here a year, maybe six months, a year wait, and a half. I give so it wait, that. What are we talking about? Exactly. <laughs> you ain't got no respect Kyle for the been queen on for or the a king few years. Here. What is up? But we, 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 we ain't been on here years. Stars, so you knew from the you knew from the giddy up stars is that she wasn't able to catch her from the from the beginning. But we're not talking about I stars. Didn't, I didn't do stars this time. How I did we, stars last year when, star? when I had it. Okay, so but what I is star? Is, are we talking about power? What are you talking about? Star. I mean power. That's on stars. Okay. Alright, you look at stars. Ass boy. Yeah. See, that's how far out the loop she is. Anywho, so so from short, your help, where the hell she was gonna catch the first couple of seasons of it? I I didn't think she he was, didn't care. I didn't he think didn't she care. was talking about. He didn't we, care. we wasn't talking about. Uh, the internet has ways. Listen, I've been true, trying to tell her that, but I understand. True, but, but, but who delayed, wants to do it? It's a lot of work. Like That's a lot of work. Not, I can't even. On some free shit, Wait. like on some free shit, like right, now, where you can uh, type "watch power free" on, on your Google search engine, and, and then. <laughs> Wait, you wait, wait, me? wait, wait. And then do I can I okay. can I touch the, the first link and I can watch it? No. Alright, I'm gone. I'm going. I'm going. I can send you to the site. I and I was about to come back. Okay. There that. are those type sites. That when I but touch as as the you, first uh, link. All you have to do is all you have to do is like hit the pop uh the cookie okay. shit, the block block oh. the what's the oh. name shit. Hey, I got HBO, you get stars, and hey, hey. she now just insulted that. me for YouTube TV. I done we didn't get just insult oh me. my god! Yeah, I, I put her you. on. Hurt, I dude? put her on for sir. she can watch whatever. Sir. And she just killed me. Sorry, your feelings hurt. Uh, yes, you feeling yes. a little salty? Yes, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm, yes, god take, bless. Your, take your New York ego. Let's it's all good. It. It's all good, man. <laughs> it's all good, ma'am. Uh huh. Hey, hey, hey ma'am, ma'am. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. Sound a real fool gave me like. I don't even trust you. Some bufale shit just came out your mouth. Like some bufale shit just came out your mouth. I don't trust your ma'am, by the way. Yo, when I say ma'am, I feel like I'm talking to a grandmother. Go on some That's because y'all niggas rude, bro. Nah, That's why nah. niggas be about to swing on y'all. Hey, bro, you know, you know, sir, I don't think we about to fight. Like, what you saying, bro? Like, what the fuck you mean? <laughs> like, on that. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, y'all too. Y'all are different y'all type too of people. Edgy, yeah. Y'all too edgy, dog. Y'all be ready y'all to fight. Y'all need some love somebody. in y'all life. Yo, like, y'all, yo, y'all niggas be, be game bagging over be, bacon be and shit. Right? Like, what the fuck? Like, niggas be game bagging over breakfast, dog. Like, I want my bacon, egg, and cheese. Niggas can't eat bacon, egg, cheese. Like dead ass right now. Like, niggas can't eat break bread. They throwing up signs. Like, what the fuck? Like, niggas ready to kill. Niggas ready to kill you. Okay, but like y'all niggas be so tight. What's up with my chopped cheese? That's you know. Even even the phrase tight, like I get it. Like y'all niggas be like wounded the fuck up. Like just nigga relax. Y'all like this why y'all be here all the time. Who hurt y'all? Right, bro. I know what it is, bro. They just need to get their rocks up. Yeah, exactly. Because it needs to be said. But people in the south are passive aggressive. So it's like. So it's like. I'd much rather my up north in your face than a bunch of smiling in my face and then y'all doing a bunch of shady That's shit by my back. That's y'all true. have the passive aggressive shit locked, especially racism. Passive aggressive shit locked down. Like I'm from Boston. Call me a nigga. I'm cool. Like it's gonna go back and forth real quick. I ain't but y'all be down here. Not, oh, no, but y'all be. But y'all I'm be down here. Aggressive. Y'all be down here. Yo, they'll be boldly racist to you. Be cool as fuck with this shit and act like you supposed to be cool. Like nah. Like I'm literally. That nigga's not from here. <laughs> I'm literally from. It's a bunch of nomads floating around. Here right now, no like, we can kill. We can kill. Like we can kill. Like y'all niggas come from everywhere. Like this is a count, bro. Raise your hand if you're from Atlanta here. Kills me down here. Just tell me how you feel. 
We got three people, four people from Atlanta in here. Like, come I, ain't on, gonna, bro. I ain't gonna say he lying. I ain't gonna say he wrong, but I understand. Come on, bro. Like, like niggas don't be from here. Y'all be trying to tag that. Like, oh, I mean, cause that's all, them niggas in the south. Like, I'm, I'm gonna tell you nah, why. Like, the only reason why we like that is because we probably gonna poison you, and the cops never gonna find out because they don't give a fuck either. Passive aggressive. Wow. See, that's crazy. Passive that was crazy. Well, well right shout there. out some goddamn uh, uh, Norman Bates shit. Some, some Black Widow <laughs> type shit. I'm chilling. Like, I ain't, but I ain't no passive. She on, she on that psycho shit, bro. She on that Norman Bates shit. Like, I'm chilling, dog. What? What? Norman. <laughs> Normandy. Like, that's your name. All like, I'm, I'm saying is. I'm chilling, dog. Like, but I ain't all passive. I'm saying is. I ain't passive aggressive. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a straight shooter with it. Like, you know what I mean? All I'm saying is, you know, probably. You, it's all right. You. We so gonna Pete, smile at you. gonna find out in about 20 minutes. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got another little question. So, I was thinking about this shit the other day. Mm. Is marrying for love out an uh, outdated concept, or is it a business contract? Mm. Huh? Yeah, you gotta run the question back. It does. Since you got us all Technically, yeah. Oh, it does. Yeah. Oh, it does. Yeah. Oh, it does. Yeah. does. Yeah. So, yeah. do women truly do women truly value love or security? Food. Hmm. Food. Food. Final answer. Do they value love or security? Food. That's tough. You can grow to love somebody. I'm at. Whole, you gotta hit this mic. Ty, you, you gotta hit this come mic. Come to the mic, you can. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. This, hey, this you see how genuine that just came out? Yes, ma'am. You can come to the mic. It's a see? Y'all used to, the first time I ever heard somebody say yes or yes sir was in the south. Yes. Mm-hmm. I ain't say yes or just now. Yes right. Is, is yeah, not. That's some exactly. real slavery. I ain't say. I ain't say yes, yes or just now. I said yes sir. Somebody said yes sir, but I'm just saying. I ain't say yes ma'am. I'm from the so islands. I'm more polite than everybody. Good night. Good evening. Hey, doing? boo. Stop. I say. Announce yourself. You're not gonna My say name is back? Ty. Um, they call me Saint Boogie in the hood, hey, t- and by the t- hood, t- I mean the internet. Stop. I say. I'm not gonna say that because there's 700 ways to say what's up in Creole and 700 answers. Can you answers. give me the one? At least? I ain't finna do it. That's foul. I'm All not. Right. I'm so sorry. Bad. But I gave you cremas though. Did I not give you cremas? Did I not invite you to my house for soup jumo on New Year's Day? I mean, you know, I cooked you Asian food, but I, not boule, not boule Cheyenne. That's that's you know, more authentic than the food I did. Y'all was about to eat what? It's fine. All yeah. right. New Year's Day, New Year's Day, <laughs> New Year's Day. I got you. Um, so your question was, do women value love or security? Mm-hmm. Yeah. In a perfect world, we would rather both. Yes. Um, up to a certain age, we still are looking for love. Now, up to a certain age, we're looking for security. Past a certain age. It's a whole bunch of shit I could do for myself. Right. And so I would much prefer to have to share an abode with somebody that I can stand and be around. Mm -hmm. So at that point, what you can do for me financially doesn't really compute as much. I'm not going to take care of you. I'm not going to marry down. But that's not the priority anymore. Love, Love becomes the priority once I can take care of myself. I respect that. I think it's love and companionship. Like if you can, like you said, like in my if you can, if you can stand to deal with somebody for a long, like that a prolonged period of time, I think it's a combination of both. Like I don't need you to be here, but I'd like you to be here with me. But let's keep it a buck. Marriage is a contract. Oh yeah, 100%. Like, like wholeheartedly. It is. Marriage is a contract yeah. because we can love each other and take care of each other till we die without right. a piece of paper. Right. So I'm not speaking from from. from and me. if you break that contract, you got to send some money. So right. I'm not speaking for me directly, but I I feel like a lot of men are dodging that because it's like women are marrying for the wrong reasons, like in their eyes. Oh, come to the mic. Come to the mic, bro. Come to the mic, bro. Come to the mic, bro. If you go, bro, this is good. This is like good content. Bro. Can, can, let me tell you one other thing that I will say that not a lot of women will say. Go ahead. Mm. Go ahead. I, I Currently. In the year of our Lord in Wakanda and Lizzo 2019. Mm. That's what it is. Amen. Y'all heard me. Amen. The year of extra black and extra loving extra ourselves. Yeah. The year of our Lord in Wakanda and Lizzo. Yes. You got it? Culturally ratchet, baby. Get with it. Cool. Um, we're, <laughs> we're all, because the internet's missed this. Mecca, don't do this. Um, 
men and women equally are making dating super difficult for because men are damaged and hurt and scared and, and so women, are women are damaged and hurt and scared right i, I, I totally agree yeah, i totally agree. agree it's a bunch of women nobody trusts anybody nobody, nobody trusts does. anybody but nobody everybody's talks priorities about are fucked up mm -hmm. and everybody is on the defensive right mm -hmm. so if you go i don't I, I looked at one guy's tinder profile i did a little online dating experiment this summer okay, you know okay. for fun okay. um for research every like <laughs> there was all the time. there was a constant theme of like men who just sounded very butthurt and i could tell from the fact that it wasn't one or two right. it was every third profile right. they're reacting to what they're seeing on their end right by the same token women have gotten years and years and years and years of Advice on dating from your single homegirl and not your married homegirl. Advice from dating from men that you would not date. I'm not going to call nobody out. Uh-oh, uh-oh, But uh -oh. No, 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 not him. Nobody oh, in this no, room. <laughs> no, somebody in this room like, said it. Wait, 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 you need to look, man. Wait, but the way he didn't look, man. No, it's because he just said somebody's name. He said somebody's oh, okay, name. Okay, so that's why I said I'm not going to call him. But, like, why would you take advice from your homegirl who is not married, has not been a, in a successful relationship? Why is that the person you're I going to it. advise for? Why would you take dating advice from a man that you would not want to beef with? I don't want to marry you. I don't want what you think a wife should be doing because you're not the one for me. I think that there's a lot of women whose um, list, quote unquote, of the things that they're looking for in a man or the requirements that they have for a man, it's really not them. It's what somebody else told them that right. they should do or should not do. And so they're going off of that. And so now everybody is going into the dating space on the defensive and being reactionary. I'm not going to do this. You need to prove that. Da, 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 da. Well, I'm not going to do this because that you got to earn. Okay. Like everybody's well, afraid I, of being taken advantage of. That's true. I was going to, and on top of everybody, and, and nobody, nobody wants, to, wants like, to put themselves out there. Nobody. Yeah. The nobody. Yeah. Place. Nobody wants to be the, I told you so story. story. But it already it probably might happen like three, four times. Yeah. But you I don't want to, but too, you don't want to be Google that again. Building. Like you don't want to open yourself up to that. And be subjected to I that. I know I'm the way well, I am. What was your name? Yeah, I got a lot going on. So bear with me. But bear with me. Bear with me. Come on, Ty. Talk your talk your shit, queen. Bear with me. Talk your shit, queen. Bear with me. And I know we don't know each other, but I just got an Instagram like two months ago. My Instagram is my Instagram. The only reason I'm my Instagram is Saint Buggy. I know because I've tried to tag you on posts and been like, he's new. Okay, I'm new to the game. I'm new to the game. Just bear with me. My name is Ty. St. Louis. Come on, okay. come on. They call me St. Boogie. Come on, Ty. On these internet streets. Mm. Nice to meet you, St. Boogie. Talk your shit, queen. Show, show booker for Cash Color Cannabis mm. podcast. <laughs> Author of um, The Art Behind the Tape. Co-author. Mm. Talk tape. your shit, dude. Come on. Yeah. 20 what? year music business veteran. Come on, let's go. Get them accolades off. The only, the only one of your single homegirls that you should take dating advice from. Ah. Oh, oh wait, wait. <laughs> and yes, I said single. And she forgot. And she forgot to mention that her pen and her mind is for sale. She don't need no. She don't need no. For hire. It's for hire. Go ahead, hey, she don't need no cosign because I see her everywhere. Yeah, okay, there we go. There we she go. Be she be here. That's another cosign right there. there. I definitely. That's, that's enough of a cosign from Groovy Lou right, right. there. I definitely agree with you. I definitely agree with you about people taking advice from the wrong people. Like everybody thinks they have the answers too. Is it, that's that's a advice that's is a tough is, advice is a tough pill. It was, it's better given than taking. Especially but I, if they got like higher learning and shit. Like they yeah. think they know every fucking. It's thing. It's tough. Like, if, advice. I always tell people to take take advice with a grain of salt. You you don't know what somebody else has been through. I, my experience with some could have been completely different from yours, so I can't really go off your word. Got, you just got to take advice. it with a I ain't going to lie. So the best advice I got has been for old people in J's. Facts. They done been through it. They done been through it. Like, I, done got, I done got good and great advice, bro. Like sound, sound advice that I done got for these people, dog. If it, like, if it ain't somebody, I'm trying to tell you, dog. Like I'm trying to tell the you. The two people that got, to do. yeah, yeah, I was gonna yeah say, like, the two people that are gonna be complete or three people that are gonna be completely honest with you, children. <laughs> Jays and grown folks and grown folks. Yeah, like, like, like I'm talking about old people. Like, yeah, like no, I'm talking about old. 
Uh, yeah, allegedly. The one, yeah, allegedly. Hey, look, every time, like every time, every, every time, time. you yeah. calling them sir. Like, they got, got a different type of honesty. Yeah. They got a different type of um of life in them. And they get fewer thoughts. And they do. They don't give Children a don't fuck know, about none of that shit. Old people don't care to have. I don't feel like people like to be honest anymore. You said people don't who? I don't even think it's, it's being honest and being vulnerable. People, it's like, my thing is like, you don't, yeah, yeah. I got some advice. Oh, sorry, go ahead. But it's only for the men, though. Like who like you. That's, that's, my, that's. That's the, that's just for that's for the wait, that's for the men. Wait, wait, wait. Like you who got, like you. Got you. Sexes there, Lou. Like who like you. <laughs> Look, like 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 who like you because if you a man and you see a, a bad bitch, a so called bad bitch, or whatever, and you quote you want to get what a quote unquote, mm. you gonna have to work and do all this dumb shit just to get with her. So why not like the girl that is giving you that that opening? Like okay, I, I, I feel might that, like but you, a lot whatever, of them whatever. play games too. You know what yeah, I'm saying? That's true. A lot of them play games too. Like I'm with you. Like you're right, you're that, right. that's 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 what I really feel you're like. Right. People are with everybody, the game. Everybody's playing a like, game. Everybody is playing like they games. Like it's true. Ain't not that's one true. female I don't feel like I got that's six true. niggas on their line. But I right guarantee now. you get I farther. I, don't. I guarantee you. <laughs> for, for the listeners. Come on, Ty. <laughs> Come on, Ty. For the listeners. Come on, Ty. For the listeners. For the, for the content. <laughs> Come on, for I the content. You, I'm saying. No, 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 no. But but we talked about this last time. We talked about no, no, no. But we talked about this last time. We talked about quality over quantity. Like it's a thing. Like you can People have six. Six. Yeah, you could have six. They need options. Online. They need a. That's what it is. Niggas need an escape route. You but you can have. I need an escape route. Mind. Like but I need if, a, they not, if she ain't tri- if she get the tripping. But not yeah. even. But not even. And, and, but you can't go into it thinking that's your escape route. And, how you should go into and, it. Uh, I think a lot of people f- feel that they way. They do. But how they you do. should go into it is like it's okay for you to explore your options right. until you've settled on one. On that one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But that's the point that about too, being honest with it. If you can say that, if you can say like, hey, I'm coming into this, I am openly dating because I haven't found that person yet. Blase, blase, blase. Like that works out. I definitely out feel that. Nobody's doing that. Nobody's and doing the reason, that. But the reason, but the reason, why, but the reason why, but the reason, but the reason, but the reason, why, question, but, the reason, but, the reason but the reason why women, ha- but why black women aren't doing that is because we haven't been conditioned to date. Listen, listen, to what I'm telling you. Oh, come on, Ty. When you in high school, <laughs> mm. you can't talk to a whole bunch of boys. Your That's auntie's true. gonna be the first ones. Your mama, your aunties, you those boys. You gotta talk to one, one boy, guy, yeah. right? So you date that one guy. He could be doing whatever else he's doing. You're caught up and tied into that one guy. You don't learn as a kid to have options. Now, when we get older, the That's other day while true. I was doing my little dating experiment, it just so happened to coincide with that whole conversation online about how going out for coffee is not a date. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna interrupt. Yes. You, you did your experiment. You got six, six niggas on your line. I do right? not. Why? None of them are worthy. None no, of them are worthy. No. And we can talk about it. We can talk about it. No, no, we can I will come back. We I will come back and we can do a whole show Thank about you. my, my experiment. Today, welcome. welcome. You're welcome. But I don't, you we're not, I'm not going to take the whole show on mine because that's my experience. But mm-hmm. n- there weren't six worthy niggas oh, okay. to, be, to keep okay, it a buck. Okay. Thank right. you. It wasn't even one keeper out the but. That's neither here nor there. It's another day, day, another another conversation. So now, at our age, like as we become adults, right? Right. We've gotten it into our heads that there's such a thing as a Mm pre-date. I could not, as an older broad, as a woman of a certain age. Girl, boom. I mean, I said you just happen to be in the direction. It had to be to the left, and you just have to be right there. I'm sorry. (laughs) Um, (laughs) As an as a woman of a certain age, I had never heard of the term pre-date. Me either. I've never. What people are calling a pre-date is actually what a first date is supposed to be right <laughs> instead of just going on dates yeah. what we do is we meet somebody on the app or we meet somebody at the club we want to talk to them every day for two weeks mm-hmm. before we go on an actual date mm-hmm. by the time we as women get to that date we've already got a bond in our head we like him he's been sending good morning texts every morning oh look his his else. left eyebrow is a little crooked from his right that's so cute You've already you're already attached to that person. So when you get to that date, after you've been kicking it on the phone for two weeks, you get to that date, you have an attachment, you have expectations. You're also less likely to be like, eh, this ain't for me. That right. first date, this is the most amazing thing I got out of that experiment. Going on a first date with somebody I barely knew. 
We had a good time. We had a good conversation. I ate. He, we paid for our own shit. I paid for my food. He paid for his food. Nobody had a bad time. Everybody was cool. We still cool to this moment, but he wasn't the one for me. Mm-hmm. And then when I left, I wasn't hurt. It was fine. Can I, can I, can I say something? Yes. I fuck with you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Many people do. I'm very fuck with no, like that. No, seriously. That is the you. thing. We don't, That's a shirt. don't know how to someone. date. Women are taught to have options like that. And, 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 I, and I totally agree. Like, women aren't taught to really date, and men are taught to, Just like, be a hoe. Facts. I think they're right. But then it's a, but then it's a bad thing when women be like, and, and people lying. Yeah, but then, but then it's a bad thing if women be like, yeah, I'm trying to have this nigga do this is that third. And it's like, cause I really I don't have a lot of the options that I do have. They working for me right now. And this the damage has been caused. Women are scarred. For sure. And. And men are scarred. Yeah, it's, and it's, men it's are scarred. A, it'll it's a around. cycle. Like, men were kind of like in control a little bit, like no. empowered. No, no, real talk. Like men, men are scarred it, too. It, the shit done caught up. And I'm gonna tell you another thing. Social media has made the world so smaller. Yeah. It yeah. done made it so smaller. Like when niggas feel like they got, or people, not niggas, just people in general feel like they got all the options in right. the world. Right. You feel what I'm saying? You really like if you was in Texarkana, Arkansas. Yeah. You fucking with somebody in Texarkana, Arkansas, That's like <laughs> you feel what I'm saying, like if you in Baton Rouge, you fucking with somebody in Baton Rouge, right. like you in Baton but Rouge, you but that's fuck with a nigga in goddamn Ben yes. Alejo, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Like but, you fold a dick in the heels, like right. you know what I'm saying. But like, that's a problem though for guys, cause it's like for a guy, it's like all right, well I got this chick, this chick, and this chick. So if this one want to give me a problem, or this want to start an argument, I don't want to deal with that. But if you're gonna be in a relationship, you can't just run every time you have an argument. But, but we ain't, that's true. But like that's but, some real shit. But, that's, but it's like, how do you even get to the point of being in a relationship if we still stuck on not even trust each other? In a but I told stage. my nigga that the other day. Cause he, he fucking with a chick. He really liking shit. We can't even get past. And I was like, bro, don't part. run at the first sight. Cause that's what he re- usually do. Cause he feel like he got so many on the line. Then he just go to the other one. I was like, nah, she cool, bro. See, like, that's a, that's a don't run. <laughs> You said that coming from women or men? Both sides. Oh, okay, okay. I, 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 I was gonna go in on some shit. I was gonna go in on some shit. Women switch up like this. Is, that's, you know, you said nine times out of ten for a guy. I'm that's bait. We do. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not just that's bait. <laughs> Wait, that be some, that said, that, I'm gonna tell you what that shit is. I'm gonna tell you what the young people calling that. That be some cap shit. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, that's no, some cap shit. Because like, you nobody, know what I'm nobody like, wants to be vulnerable. Nobody wants like. to be hurt. Nobody wants to feel like they. I told like nobody ever wants to feel like that. So the easiest way to discredit that, especially with social media, is to just get online and post a bunch of bullshit about yeah. however you. Quote unquote not feeling or feeling and then that and then that's it. And I'ma keep it a book which I I saw this chick yesterday, right? She was talking about how all these women putting cash out for well, one they was going off fucking rap lines, number one. Y'all talking mm-hmm. about niggas need cash out this, cash out that. Then she goes, since y'all niggas so stupid to cash out, here's my cash out. I'm looking like, but what are you for the last two weeks talking about just giving us whole quotes <laughs> about how a nigga can't even talk to you without a cash out? But it's and the thing people not cash out you. But but that's it. But the thing about social media but the thing about social media is you can you can flip flop in a heartbeat just to just to just to prove your point. Takashi is the number one factor in that. He definitely we ain't even get on Takashi. Damn. But he's an up <laughs> I was gonna adjust, that shit but was a deep he, one. he's a he's an up like you can literally They was tearing this ass up be, on the memes. What? Social media has done you can be anything you literally want to be on social media and be the complete except yourself and be the complete opposite on the bar. That's a bar. Be the complete opposite in real life. All social media did was enable you somebody to have three or four representatives. You can be whatever the fuck you want on social media besides yourself. Are you gonna hit this mic or not? <laughs> you said what? Hell yeah, yeah. Hey, look. God, I look, mean, look, I'm tired of my listeners. Mecca chatty patty to the motherfucker. <laughs> and he never wants to hit the mic. Hold on, my uh, bad. And also, I got a show at 9 o'clock. Y'all still here. Oh, you. Okay, <laughs> my, 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 oh, we can leave. 
Oh, no, we can, we can, we can, but I'll add this in. I'll we'll add this we'll in. be back next Monday. <laughs> Social media ain't start just now because I've, I've been having multiple um, um, personalities and shit since college club. You know what I mean? Like, like. I don't know. Bro, Ooh, I promise you, Black it. Planet. I had somebody in Chicago, LA. Black Planet. Black Planet. <laughs> Black Planet. I had somebody in Chicago and in LA, and I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina at Johnson C. Smith. Like you was able to do shit in the 2000s. Thotty buddy, bro. he liked the party. Well, all right, well, moral of the story is nobody likes it. All right, we coming. No. <laughs> 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 Moral of the story is nobody likes to be vulnerable. You should just be honest. Qu- quan- quality over quantity, and just be your motherfucking self. And 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 be vulnerable. Like it's okay. And if that person doesn't make you feel like it's okay to be vulnerable, then talk to them. And if they still don't get it, then I don't know. Yo, you and God gotta work that out. They ain't got shit to do with me. But. In closing. In closing. <laughs> I'm not. My, my my word of the week is uh axiomatic. Ooh. So that, That's mad so that, I definitely did because I hit the uh That's what I'm talking about. That's what I was gonna suggest. Yeah, yeah, you know I hit the you know I hit the Yeah, I hit that all the time. If I don't know it, like they ain't got time to be like X You know, all that bullshit, you know what I mean? So uh <clears throat> It's a uh, spell A X I O M A T I C, and it means taken for granted or self evident. All righty. What you and got going? My shout out of the week goes to a very popular food truck and barbecue spot that is fucking immensely to my heart. You said barbecue? What yes. is it? I'm gonna tell you. All right, God it's a bless. food truck. My, my, my I did not mean to interrupt. It's okay. It's all right, King. It's a food truck that that's around usually in the Midtown area from Friday through Saturday and Sun. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, I'm about to tell you the name. God speed. When you said barbecue, niggas went off the Richter. I, I see. Niggas was like, that's lady barbecue. In, lady, lady niggas in, popped up like a meerkat. I see. Lady in the Beast food truck and barbecue. Man, they got some of the most sweet macaroni and cheese, collard greens, Nah, don't wings, say that about the mac and cheese, bro. Don't be, say that about the mac and I've cheese, I've been eating this bro. for years. I just wanted to let y'all know they got a, finally got a food truck. Yeah, okay, <laughs> so, okay. Godspeed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, I mean, they, they listen, it's, it's homegrown. They they just they put so much love in this food it's fucking ridiculous. When they close, um, Miss Anne Marie is always in the back cooking. Um, Daddy Chuck is back there too. It's a family owned business. It's a black owned business. So when you gotta support. When do they support. close? It's a food truck. I'm about to tell you. Yeah, let me slide that for off to you. So we got them. But um, so yeah, so I wanted to give a special shout out to Lady in the Beast. Hey, mom and dad. That's that's like second family. Me and I just wanted to give y'all a shout out because y'all haven't been recognized on a platform that. It has this type of uh, volume. So, um, alrighty then. And without further ado, when do they close? Uh, fam, they. I'll put the info. Listen, listen. I'll put the info on my Insta story. On, okay, God on my, bless. On my That's Instagram. Safe from the giddy up. Girl, relax. Damn, can you? I'm oh, hungry. Oh, you been like, drinking, drinking. Finna go, you lit, lit. Go now, <laughs> okay, like. you lit. And Patron getting to you. I told you I ain't hate eight since seven thirty. You didn't tell me that. You asked me when I ate. You didn't. I, you didn't ask me. You tell God me that. Bless. Anyway, so um, without further ado, um, I'm gonna thank y'all for tuning into another episode of the No Buffer Podcast, the Culture Ratchet Podcast. To say what we want, when we want no buffer, just facts. Lingo Steve, myself, Cheyenne XO, and the Honorable Last Name Good in the building every Monday. I know it's a little special today, but every Monday, live hip hop daily TV. That's all we got for y'all asses. We will see y'all black, red, yellow, purple, more importantly, black asses next week. Yeah, we yeah. out.